today we will learn forest and wildlife forest are vast areas on which different species and different forms of plants and animals are found variety of animals and plants found in an area is called biodiversity of that area forest and wildlife are important resources for us and the environment they also maintain balance in the environment many things are available to us from forest in order to fulfill our need we are exploiting the forest excessively causing heavy loss to the forest and wildlife this is also destroying the biodiversity of the forest areas to protect various species it is necessary to protect forest therefore forest have been considered as a hot spot of biodiversity our activities are causing huge loss to forest resource due to deforestation there are many problems like the amount of carbon dioxide in the environment is not controlled due to which the temperature of the earth has started to rise we call this problem global warming trees hold the soil due to absence of trees the fertile layer gets washed away with rain water and blows away with the wind this is what we call soil erosion due to excessive cutting of trees green lands are converted into deserts due to the absence of trees rain water flows away causing problems like flood due to lack of trees water cannot enter into the ground due to which ground water is not replenished similarly due to lack of trees the environment changes and the habitat of organisms is also damaged due to which there is huge loss to the forest and wildlife let us now discuss the conservation of forest for this it is important to identify the persons related to forest we can call them stakeholder the main stakeholders of forest are as follows local people obtain different things from the forest therefore they conserve forest even before the arrival of british people used to live in forest did it harm the forest no they had developed such methods that could lead to sustainable development the local people still continue the tradition of conservation of forest the british over exploited the forest when the control of forest went to the forest department of the government the forest areas were destroyed and the same type of trees were planted on it this gave industrialists the source of raw materials and revenue to the forest department but the biodiversity was destroyed on a large scale due to this various species are extinct or are on the verge of extinction we should fulfill the industrial needs by planting trees on the barren lands and not by cutting forest nature and wildlife enthusiast are not dependent on forest but they contribute significantly to the management of forest they tell the importance of forest to the society and convey the message of synergy they also prevent unthinkingly exploitation of resources local residents are trying to conserve forest as per their tradition let's see some examples related to this in 1731 amrita devi vishnoi along with 363 people from the village sacrificed themselves to save khejri trees in the village of khejrali located in jodhpur rajasthan 
The Government of India has arranged Amrita Devi Vishnoi National Award for Conservation of Animals. In early 1970s, a significant incident occurred in the rainy village of Garhwal, located in high mountain range of Himalayas. A contractor was allowed to cut down trees near the village. In protest against the cutting of trees, the women of village filled their trees in arms and prevented the contractor from cutting the trees. The contractor eventually had to withdraw. Sustainable development of forest resource can be done. For example, in West Bengal, Sal forest was badly damaged due to excessive exploitation. Officer A.K. Banerjee started a strategy in the Arabadi area of Midnapur under his local people, under which local people were involved in the work of conservation of forest. This provided employment to rural people. They also got the right to use 25% of the final harvest and were allowed to take wood for fuel and feed cattle. With the consent and active participation of local people, the Salvana of Arabri, which was considered useless, became prosperous again. The value of this forest has been estimated at 12.5 crores. We should also conserve wildlife. For this, we should fairly follow the ban on animal hunting. Animals and their habitat have been preserved with the help of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Discuss in your class about how you can help in conservation of wildlife and forest. So today we have learned forest and wildlife.